Now, first night, the inaugural Field of Heroes charity flag football game took place at the Paul Dennis Complex on Saturday. Different first responders played in the played in the game in an effort to raise money. KHQA's Ben Schmidt is working for you to share what the event meant to those involved. Ben? Quincy residents may be used to seeing touchdowns like this one on Saturdays, but this weekend they saw first responders find the end zone instead at the 2024 Field of Heroes charity flag football game. It's nice to come out here um, with the guys that we work with and not be in our official working capacity, come out and have some fun with each other and um, get some friendly competition in with some neighboring agencies. And um, Plus, it's nice for people in the community to see us out here in a different light. Serve Pro put on the event in Quincy for the first time this year as a way to recognize different local first responders, but not while they're in the office. I hope the community just takes away just to support our, our first responders. You know, they do so much, whether it was through COVID or if it's going out to, to calls and then protecting the, the citizens here here in the, our community, um, you know, just when you see them, wave to them, when you see them, you know, they're, they're out there doing a hard job, and I just want this to be a place for them to come and relax today and have a good time. Proceeds from the event not only go to different agencies, but a portion going to Special Olympics Illinois as well. And if there wasn't already enough on the line, some extra bragging rights did the trick. Come out and have fun. Uh, kind of compete against the different departments and, and, and have fun against that. So uh, I know they're, they're, they're all brothers, but they always like to uh, have a little competition. So. Any kind of event that we can participate in against um, agencies in this area and then have those bragging rights to say, hey, we won. Um, yeah, that's always nice. On top of that, Holland Steiner made sure to be one of the ones to cross the goal line. Everybody wants to score. So, yeah, that was nice to to get that in, in the first game. Serve Pro hopes to build off the inaugural charity flag football game and host the event again next year. Working for you, I'm Ben Schmidt.